Hi guys, welcome to Dyke Tech Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Squarespace versus Wix versus WordPress versus Weebly versus Shopify. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now in today's video, we will be doing a comparison between these five different websites. We will be showing you the process of creating a website on each platform, and we will be rating them on how hard it is to create a website on them and how to explore or use the different features available in Squarespace. So let's get started. We will be starting with Squarespace. Starting in Squarespace is very simple. Simply click on get started over here on the top right so that we will be able to begin our process of creating a website. Now we will begin with a question. Now right now it's simply loading so let's give it some time and it will usually ask you what type of website you're trying to create. So after answering that or after answering the several questions, I believe the first question was what type of website you're going to create and then what are your top goals and then the name of your website. Those are the first process in Squarespace. And after that, you will be able to select templates over here as you can see. And it's very fast and quick to start with your website. You're now already at the part of creating a template or using a template to create it. Or you can also build your own template and build your website from scratch. You have the option to create websites from an online store to services. You have all of these options over here on the left side, this type over here. There's a lot of different topics that you can check out. So simply explore. And for example, I would like to choose this one over here, Soria. Simply click on start with Soria to begin the process. After selecting a specific template, you will begin your process or the start of editing your actual website or like the template putting in all your information and stuff like that as you can see you can also complete this step one or four questions over here but for now we're going to skip that and as you can see we now have our website over here on the right side you will be able to interact with your website as you edit it as you can see i'm moving it around and over here on the left side as you can see this is like the back end part of your website. You will be able to handle everything about your website, everything about your commerce, marketing, scheduling, assets, library, analytics, and many more. Although for a beginner, it might be difficult or it might be overwhelming to explore all of this because to be honest, if you open the website, there is a lot of things on your screen and you might find it difficult to process. So it is a very useful tool where everything is in one place, but it might be overwhelming. That's my thoughts about Squarespace. And editing on Squarespace, you will simply click on the button edit over here and you will be able to edit the parts of your website or the template specifically. If you click this, there we go. And simply select the part that you want to change. For example, you would like to change the image into your own image. Simply select the image over here and simply click on this edit button over here. And then you will be able to add your own image. Very simple, simply select the part that you want to edit and then you will be able to publish your website. Very simple and you will be able to view it on mobile as well and change the site style. And that's basically it for Squarespace. Very straightforward, very beginner friendly. Although it has a very beginner friendly interface, the amount of things on your screen might overwhelm you. So let's move on to the other platform which is Wix.com. In Wix.com, the process is very simple as well. You just simply click on Create new site over here on the right side after logging in and you will be able to start the process of creating a website. The process between Wix and Squarespace over here is very similar. Uh, let's use the Wix editor for now, the classic old one. And let's show you the process. Now the process is very simple or very similar like I mentioned earlier where you will select a specific category, your name and stuff like that. And as you can see, you will be able to create websites from online store to events. You could also search them if the specific online store you're trying to create or specific website you're trying to create is it part of the examples over here. But let's say I'm trying to create a consultant. So simply select this and it will also show you specification as you can see here. So if you want to be a specific type or create a specific type of website as you can see for example an image consultant, you will be able to select it as just like that. Now simply click on next. Now being specific can be helpful because it will show you the templates that are actually within that category. So that's very nice. Right now, uh, you will have to put your name of your website. I'm not going to do that for now. 
you can simply click on skip over here on the bottom right and there we go now you have all of these features that you could add these features are available for all types of website but the ones in the recommended over here are typically specifically for the type of website that you have selected so you have the chat bookings instagram feed and blog which is very very uh relative or relate to the specific website that we have selected which is consultant but as you can see here you have your restaurant menus over here as well and food orders which are specifically for restaurants and after selecting your features that you want to add simply click on next to begin and over here as you can see you have the go to dashboard option or begin with a template the begin with the template is designing your website while the dashboard basically handles the apps site settings analytics communications and more which is the left side of our squarespace over here it's similar to that over here but it's on the different page which is very nice actually so that i won't feel overwhelmed but let's click on begin with a template and we selected a consultant earlier image consultant and as you can see it will show you templates that are specifically related to that specific type of uh, website that you have selected simply choose one over here click on edit once again very similar process and as you can see you will have to wait for a few seconds or a few minutes rather depending on the type of or the amount of stuff that you have added or the amount of features it will take longer of course the more features that, that you add in the part where we saw earlier like where we saw the food orders the chat the blogs those stuff so you're going to have to wait for it to load and like i said the more stuff the more it would take to set it up so let's give it a few seconds or a few minutes and there we go we now have our website loaded in front of us and let's explore how we will be able to edit this now also wix offers an ai so there's an ai going to help you build it if ever you want and as you can see you will be able to generate ai or use ai to generate your site content over here but let's skip that for now as you can see you will be able to see the different features over here on the left side you have your elements sections pages menus site designs and many more everything important is on the left side so it gives you some sort of a guide on what to do so after that uh let's move on and be able to edit specific parts of your website similarly with squarespace simply over it on a specific part click on the quick edit and over here on the right side you have the different contents of the page that you will be able to edit simply select change and you know change the title everything you need to change will be changed which is very nice and you will be able to connect it to your domain by clicking on connect your domain over here after creating your website of course you will be able to publish it over here on the top right and use your website as it is now after this let's go check out wordpress now in wordpress wordpress is a platform that a lot of professional website makers use so you could use it as a beginner but it might be difficult for you or it might prove some difficulties because there's a lot of things in it as well and a lot of things or the features are actually locked if you're not or if you don't have an upgraded plan such as the plugins now in plugins you will be able to use hundreds of thousands of different features to improve your website which is a very big thing and a lot of the features in wix you won't be able to use in wordpress because they're all locked by this paywall but you will be able to create a website nonetheless let's click on my site over here and let's actually change or create a new website uh let's click this manage site uh, as you can see these are the places you will be able to manage your site you will be able to edit your site by clicking this edit site over here you will be able to create pages domains all of those stuff similarly but it's presented in a more professional way like a dashboard so it might take a while to edit or view everything that you need and get used to it but as you can see this is like the editing page uh, you will be able to build your website from scratch actually and as you can see you will be able to create pages from scratch all of those stuff but to be able to edit simply same the same process click on the specific element you want to change and you will be able to see everything over here here we go simply click on image and then you will be able to change it if you want to add something simply click on the plus button on the top left and you will be able to see all of these different elements and after that everything that happens in the backstage you can simply go to it and you know manage them and then you will be able to publish it there as well which is very useful as you can see here 
simply follow the process of the site setup and then you will be able to finish creating your website although it's more difficult than the other two now let's check out weebly over here now weebly is created by square don't confuse it with the squarespace it's different from that so let's also explore how you will be able to create your website in this platform now right now as you can see i already created a website but let's create a new one to be able to create a new one simply click on this over here and click on add site and there we go as you can see a new store is being created now weebly is an online store platform so you won't be able to really create a new site or a site that is not online store related so that's the only downside to this but let's go with hello for now it's just a little uh, name of a website click on next uh skip for now and there we go our website is already being set up the other three platform allows you to have freedom on which type of website you're going to create such as blog online store restaurant all of those other platforms but with square or weebly.com over here and shopify we are very much inclined to create an online store that's the only thing we could mainly create now in shopify you could temporarily or you could briefly make your online store a blog website as well but aside from that you won't be able to change it into anything else and let's go check out over here there we go we now have our website built now this is the same process that we saw earlier uh now we could simply design our website and let's see what we will be able to do in Wibly. now while waiting for this let's also do the same thing in shopify in shopify what you're going to do is to click on online store and other themes as you can see you will be able to see a lot of different types of templates as well that you could use the default theme in shopify is dawn theme as you can see which is this one but there's a lot of different themes as well you will be able to manage your products customers content analytics over here on the left side shopify is a great platform for e-commerce and if you're trying to build an online store i would suggest shopify because their plan also has a lot of uh plans right now like uh one dollar for three months that's very good and as you can see this one is for the weebly this is how it begins simply select your site style over here apply site style and it will apply on the website behind there we go you can simply upload your logo over here and uh let's go with click our done and there you go we could also set up our domain if you want but there we go uh basically over here on the left side you have your different components you have your home categories all of those stuff let's dismiss this for now dismiss there we go you have your header which is the header it will highlight and if you click on a specific part same thing with everything over here you will be able to edit everything so if i click there and click there we will be able to do it and after creating or you know figuring out your website changing everything else you will be able to publish it easily by clicking on publish over here on the top right and although for this one you would need to have a domain or Let's use our subdomain for now. There you go. And you would need to set up the domain to be able to publish it actually. And there we go. We now have our site published and then you will be able to use it. It's also a very beginner friendly. Everything is very easy to do. Everything is very straightforward. So I would suggest this platform as well as a beginner. And over here we have Shopify. Like I told you, let's click on customize. Shopify is also great for beginners, especially for those who are trying to build an e-commerce. Shopify is very easy to handle very easy to navigate as you can see over here on the left side you already have categories like the header template which is basically the body and the footer over here to be able to add different parts if you click on the add over here like click on a specific part and you will be able to add them and then select the different things that you need to change and you will be able to interact as well as you edit on the shopify which is really great i really like that because as you do stuff in the editing page you will be able to change a lot of the parts and it will change a lot of the settings like the link all of the stuff and you will be able to change it over here and it will automatically publish since it's already an online store although the difference is if you don't have a plan your store will be locked or your website will be locked with a password and anyone who has the password will be able to access it but those who don't have it won't be able to access your website and that's basically it those are the comparison between these five websites if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.